so as we are doing our session 1 okay types of communication today we will touch on the last topic that is impact of body language so before starting our today's session let's have a small recap of what we have done in the last class so in the last class we have done about visual communication now what is visual communication that means communicating by the use of non-verbal mediums okay maybe it's some visual aids like postures you know then logos okay animations signboards hoardings all these are referred to as visual communication okay that means through the use of pictures so there were certain advantages of visual communication that means it reinforces other forms of communication that means it helps other forms of communication okay if a teacher is explaining you about the concept of the function of a heart yes if the teacher only speaks verbally or you know gives you a note through written communication will be not enough for you to have a clear idea or concept of the function of the heart yes but if the teacher uses a visual uh, what do you say a visual aid you know like a animation of the function of the heart then your concept will be more clear right then it can explain in uh, things in a way that which are not possible through words that means a concept or a message is better conveyed through pictures that means say you know for example in a company if a manager wants to have a look at the profit records of a particular company yes he will have a better idea looking at the graph of it rather than going to a textual report right then it clears the barrier of any qualification that means a person need not have any prerequisite qualification in order to understand the in uh, intended message through visual communication okay so these were the advantages of visual communication so same way there were certain disadvantages also like visual communication is comparatively expensive okay as expense uh, it bears the expense of making postures pamphlets okay logos it has it, it costs a huge amount of money same way you know the uh, process the um, process of storing things you know is also have uh, the, uh, has a specific way okay which also requires certain specific place okay so specific form of storage then preparation again uh, visually it, it again time consuming okay we know that uh, to say anything verbally is more easy than to prepare that words in a poster okay or in as a logo it will be taking more time therefore visual com communication is what is time consuming and then in visual communication it we cannot precisely deliver the message we require the need of other forms of communication that is written communication or you can say oral communication okay in order to precisely deliver the intended message so these were the disadvantages of visual communication then we have done was written communication that means anything which we convey through written means yes maybe through a handed uh, written okay a printout yes a hand written handwritten printout or uh, sorry a handwritten information or through uh, computerized printout is known as what written communication so same way written communication also <coughs> sorry has also got certain advantages like written communication can be recorded permanently and can be you can be used for future reference okay then written communication also has legal standing that means it has legal validity the the document which you have written okay they has got certain legal validity as in legal for legal purposes you need to have written documents then a written message or document can be reused or duplicated as many times as you want okay and it can be produced in bulk quantities okay then written documents are seen as a company's representation okay in the, it, it gives a goodwill or it aids to the goodwill of the company through posters or logos okay through pamphlets it aids to the good will of the particular organization so these are the advantages of written communication then written communication has also got its certain share of disadvantages what are they writing requires person so as we know that writing involves person and hours and also causes involved in stationary things like in writing paper uh, for writing you need to have pen paper okay 
you know, for again if, if you want if you're writing in an electronic form then you need to have a smartphone laptop okay network so all these involves cost so hence written communication is a costly affair again writing takes time okay it is instant to communicate you know it is it is not an instant form of communication unlike the oral communication so hence written communication is is time consuming so we all know that if we say the words verbally it is very uh, easy okay and we can, can be done very quickly it is you have remembered in the first verbal communication it is a speedy form of communication but in written communication we have it it involves time yes it is time consuming then written communication requires that the reader knows how to read the document in the language now here comes the language barrier that means the reader has to be qualified enough has to be literate enough to know the language of on in which in which the language uh, document is written okay he has to know the language of it then written communication again requires specific form of stories for example if you are storing any documents in electronic mm -hmm. form you need to have certain the storage devices like hard disks flash drives okay internet cloud again okay, which again have their cost so hence again written communication is a costly affair so these were the disadvantages of written communication and let now for, so this was what we had done in the last class for now today we will start with our the last part of types of communication that is do's and don't of body language okay the impact of our body language so the impact of body language so we have read that 93% of communication takes place without words and out of 93% about 55 contribution is of our body language this fact makes that the body language is the most important aspect of our personality and how our image is formed among other people yes how we are judged by other people by looking at our body language so it is essential for everyone to know how to work on our uh, own body language so that <clears throat> sorry we come across as a positive helpful warm and mature personality so having a good body language will help you to become a positive warm and a mature person so we have to go through this following do's of our body language that means always stand up with a straight back and relaxed posture so we should always stand up with a straight back and in a relaxed posture we should keep our arms by our side we should not keep cross our arms sit with a straight spine so we have to sit with a straight okay not by leaning on the chair okay not like that <clears throat> then smile as we enter into a room so as we enter a room we have to smile greet others with a smile so we have to greet others with a smile always have a smiling face offer a firm but gentle handshake so if we the any other person is there okay we have to offer a firm but a gentle handshake can make eye contact while speaking to someone so we should look into his eye into the eye of the receiver okay if we are speaking to someone we should not look here and there then make an eye contact for about 2 to 3 seconds with a person and with the next person in the audience while speaking publicly so if you are publicly speaking to someone else you need to have a eye contact for 2 to 10 2 to 3 seconds to one with one person and then to the next one okay then actively and attentively listen to the speaker in a conversation so if you are having a conversation you have to attentively listen to the speaker not when engaged in a conversation as a listener so when you are listening to someone you have to nod it nod means to move your head whether you are understanding or not keep your shoulders relaxed so you have to keep your shoulder in a relaxed way put even weight on both feet that is you have to stand solid so you have to stand solid not like half shoulder down okay you have to stand straight and you have to put your weight on both the feet not on only on one feet so these are the different do's of our body language that means the positive ways of being in being having a mature personality then these are the don'ts of body language we should not we should not fidget 
fidget means when we become restless sometimes you know, shake your leg okay or you just shake your hand we should not do that do not lean on walls or on your friends or any other object okay then don't fake your smile you have to smile genuinely don't give a fake smile do not droop your uh, shoulders do not slouch okay say as i told you no half shoulder down you should not do that you should you put your shoulders straight do not fold your arms over your chest okay it means that you are offensive do not lean forward or backward while sitting you should not lean forward or need a sit backward while you are sitting do not look away in conversation so you should not look away you should look to the speaker whom you are having the conversation do not keep your hands in your pocket while talking so as i always tell you you should not walk also with your pockets in your uh, so with your hands in your pocket this looks very good uh, sorry bad you should not keep your hands in the pocket do not get too close to your listeners respect the intimate zone that is the proximity rule you should not get too close to the listener okay it what it affects their intimate zones okay you have to keep distance between to your listener that is the sender and the receiver do not touch your face repeatedly so repeatedly do not keep on touching your face okay so these are the different don'ts of our body language we should not do this okay so let's uh, this was all about your session 1 so let's summarize what we have done in this whole session so here first we have done about the different types of communication okay first one we have done about verbal and oral okay where which involves meeting teleconference informal talk video conference in the oral presentation discussions telephonic talk public speaking lecture all these are forms of or examples of verbal and or oral communication okay then next comes non verbal communication facial expressions okay you make your face a smiling face your tone of your voice your shouting no your body language your hand movement gestures your proximity proximity means distance between the sender and the receiver between the two persons when you are having conversation the distance between them then warmth in your appearance you know in your appearance how you are looking in what clothes you are your enthusiasm your mood all this comes under non verbal communication then comes the visual communication logo sign board signs signals charts graphs images pictures illustrations cartoon animations all this comes under visual communication and lastly we have the written communication letter email fax all in electronic form magazine yes article book document report notices newsletter business card media release any legal documents manuals all these will come under written method of communication so these are the basically four types of communication okay or four methods or forms of communications okay you may get a question from here okay so all these communications you have to go through thoroughly okay and you have to know the definition as well as the different advantages and disadvantages then next comes the do's and don'ts of our body language which we have learned today that means we have to stand up straight okay back and in a relaxed posture we have to keep our arms side by side we have to sit straight okay we should smile okay and offer a uh, gentle and firm handshake we have to make eye contact right then we have to actively and attentively listen to the speaker we should nod when we are engaged in a conversation yes and we have to put our weight even on both of our feet that means we should stand solid these are a different do's of our body language then we have don'ts do not fidget as i told you not to shake your leg leg or you know your hand okay don't be in a restless manner then you have, you should not lean on your wall in on walls or on your fan shoulder or any other object you should never give a fake smile you should not droop your shoulder droop your shoulder means half down you know putting your one shoulder down not like that 
then you should not fold your arms okay over your chest which means that you are offensive okay which you are not approachable you should not lean forward or backward while sitting you should sit straight you should not look away while you are conversing then you should you should not keep your hands in your pocket okay while moving or while you are talking you should not get close to the listeners you should have a distance between you between yourself and the listener or the speaker then you do not touch your face repeatedly so these are the different don'ts okay we should which we should follow in order to become a mature and have a good personality in effective communication okay so this is your session 1 and then after go through the video and after the video i will be giving you some assignment which you are going to complete all right and at the same time keep learning as i told you each and every topic okay are important and you may get questions from here okay keep learning and keep writing thank you have a nice day